Aquarius, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do a reading for you for the week of December 11th through the 17th. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you don't see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit. But first we're going to jump right into some oracle messages. These are the messages that are uh, energies that you could be swimming through for the upcoming week. They also include affirmations, setting intentions, just some beautiful energy for you to be focusing on no matter what's going on in your circumstances or your situation. And this will give us some clues too overall to the bigger, deeper energies that you're thinking and feeling, you know, and moving through for the week. All right, so let's do this Aquarius. Thank you for sharing this space with me today. I appreciate your time, your attention, all the love and support you give this channel. And I also wanna take a moment to thank the non-physical realm for presiding over this reading for you today and for all the love and support that they give us. All right. I hope you all are doing well. That you're enjoying your December. I can't believe we only have a few more weeks left of the year. It's crazy. All right, let's pull these. We're going to pull these and then we're going to go into the tarot spread. We're going to clarify the tarot spread and then we're going to finish off with some wisdom of the oracle and we're going to do it all in 15 minutes. That's my goal because I know when it comes to tarot, it doesn't need to be too wordy, right? Be concise. All right. New truth. I am open to receiving new inspiration. That's the first one. So you might be feeling inspired this week. I like to see that. That's a good one. Releasing perfection. I love my imperfections for they make me real. Okay. It's good. It's like you're having like, you know, some, some, uh, truth telling with yourself. Let go. I let go of what no longer serves me. All right. You might be letting go of the need to, uh, to be perfect, right? For something to be perfect. All right. You might want to write those down. Those are three energies that you could really, um, sink into this week. And we're going to probably see them pop up. That's how it works, right? Oracle and the tarot. They're two partners working in harmony, right? <laughs> That's why I love both. I work with both in every reading. All right. Now this tarot reading is for all Aquarian sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements in your chart or perhaps someone that you're curious about who exhibits Aquarian placements. For you cross watchers, you are welcome here. Please, all of you, only take what resonates today, okay? And leave the rest. All right. We're going to pull the overall general energy. Aquarius, what is your overall general energy? And then we're going to go into the opportunity for the week, the challenge for the week, what you don't see coming, the immediate future, and some important advice from Spirit. All right, let's go. There we go. Ooh, two came out. I love that. That means it's a very important message, a very important week, especially around stabilizing a love bond. Whenever we see the four of wands, this is a happy home. You could be actually hosting parties, you know, people gatherings. You know, this is when we want to spruce up our home environment. Traditionally, though, this is a happy home, happy life, and you are feeling balanced. So things are coming back into balance in your home life, okay? I love to see that, and we're gonna keep pulling. Ace of Cups, your opportunity, love. Feeling the love, giving the love, embodying the love. I love Ace of Cups. Could be new love, self-love. New love that is starting to come together, right? Feeling stable, could be the case for some of you. The Hierophant, this is a big week. We've Two majors showing up already out of the out of really three placements, but you got an extra. The Hierophant. This could be you shifting your beliefs about a person. I'm getting that off of this card, you know? And also, are you being authentic with what you believe in, right? Hmm. And you could be looking at a commitment. Is that true? All right. In the immediate future, we have the Three of Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Cups. 
Ooh, that's a little bit of that. That just that's a mixed bag. You got a little bit of the emotion. You got a little bit of the mental space in the middle. A little bit of the passion. You definitely seem to be waiting on something. And the longer you wait, the more you're like, you know what? When is it going to happen? This could be for a lot of singles out there. When is this love offer coming? You know, this this Four of Cups. It's a dreamy energy. Whenever I, I get the Four of Cups, I really am inspired to think of, um, you know, it could be a negative. Some people see this as a negative card, right? For me, it's like, don't take anything for granted no matter what the experience, right? It teaches you something, right? Don't get fixated, right, on anything negative, all right? So when it comes to waiting, right, and, and temperance can also signal waiting. You could be waiting for something to stabilize and a connection, or you could just be waiting for love to show up, right? Your opportunity, though, is love. So, and to change your beliefs around that love, right, is the challenge, okay? So this could be people who are like, it's just never going to happen for me. I've been waiting forever. It's never, never going to happen. Or, you know, I just don't seem to attract the right person. Okay. So this is about really overcoming any apathy or discontent while you're waiting and feeling like the unknown. When I see the two of swords, a lot of times that comes up um, as blocked energy or self-deception, but I'm picking up more of a vibe of like, really facing everything in your mind, right? And making up your mind and favoring logic over reason instead of passion and emotion. So you're definitely having to tap into that space. There's a new truth that you're coming to terms with. And I think as you sit here and you gaze out, right? And you're feeling all these emotions and you're waiting on things to change. You have, you have a decision that you're weighing, it feels like, and it's, it's almost like an overdue or difficult decision. Interesting. We're gonna get the advice from spirit. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait on that because um, I'm seeing a theme here. But what you don't see coming is the Ten of Cups, okay, this week. Ten of Cups, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. This is, it's not something we sustained. The Ten of Cups is something that we feel, but it is about domestic bliss, love. It could just be here, you know, two ladies sitting there you know Sharon what are they doing in here I think they're I want to say from what I read based on my study of this deck in the past that they're sharing strawberries they're just sitting there you know enjoying themselves by the water you know on a beautiful day so what you don't see coming is you could be really enjoying some aspect of your life um, this week despite maybe a, some things that don't feel so good ten of Pentacles all right, so if you got any worries coming into this reading, Aquarius, you're going to be letting go and maybe even looking at the ways you are dwelling maybe on something that you don't need to. And it's just time to make a decision, I'm hearing. It's time to make a decision. All right, let's see. Let's clarify this temperance and the four of wands. It's having patience, you know, bringing something together, creating stability. Again, domestic bliss. But temperance is often how we balance out the emotional state between two cups as we see the two cups two of cups right the card so temperance in the card she's actually holding two cups so this is balancing a love bond right i am seeing that this has to do with a love bond all right let's clarify this ace of swords knight of swords death all right you and someone else you both are really working hard and going at trying to transform a connection but you're trying to get clear on how to transform it all right, but it is being transformed for the better with the four wands underneath it and temperance. It's like spirit is saying, be patient. Whatever you have created, it's enough to withstand and sustain any kind of issue that pops up. All right, just don't get overly in your head about it. All right, let's see this opportunity is the ace of cups, right? To lead with love, right? Self-love, is it new love? For those of you looking for a connection, hoping, yes, yeah. Some of you, listen, it's hard not to read for couples, long-term things, because most of us have had something in our lives, right? Some people, there's nothing on the radar, all right? And for those of you, I don't want to exclude you, because every reading is serves a purpose for, for everyone, all right? But for the most part, the opportunity in this week for all of you is to 
Open your heart, right? Feel your emotions and let your intuition guide you. Yes, you've been beat up. Yes, you will overcome whatever is going on in your life this week. Spirit is saying, I got you. You got you. The people around you got you, all right? You definitely um, need to be guided by whatever your intuition comes up, especially around your feelings, because we have the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So you're gonna be feeling maybe heart opening, right? And it's like, don't give up the, the struggle, right? It's the struggle to, to love and to be guided by love and to hone into our intuition, even when it's hard. So no matter what's going on, let's see what this challenge is, because I think that's where the where I'm gonna find the, the uh, what do you call it? The needle in the haystack or this, let's see. Why is the challenge of the Hierophant? Is this about a commitment? Page of Wands, the Fool, oh yes. This, this is, all right, this is turning into a singles read for y'all because we have the Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunity just falling into your lap. It could lead to a long-term commitment and you have the Fool. Whenever I see the Fool and the Page of Wands, it's like, hey, somebody's hitting me up. I'm curious about this person. I want to maybe go out or I want, or I'm dating somebody and I don't know, this could lead to something. I don't know, but like, it could be you, you know, maybe you've been waiting on a love offer, right, from someone. This could be somebody that you have had your sights set on. There's something transforming in in your life. And I think that your duty, though, is as you are transforming through this experience to stay in balance, right? To maintain your stability overall and don't go too fast towards love, all right? That's a little bit of a warning there. Don't go too fast. I do feel like your feelings are going to be deepening. With this Nine of Wands, that is definitely about, you know, you can handle whatever comes your way this week. You might have a lot on your to-do list and just take your time as you go about your day. Something deep here about the way love is gonna show up for you. I do believe that you have someone coming in, if for those of you who are single, or it's a new beginning in a, in a love bond. It's like, let's start fresh. Let's put the past behind us. You know, you're letting go of maybe your your time of being single or you're letting go of, of 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 the issues right that have plagued you in a partnership okay what is this what you don't see coming with the ten of cups the ace of cups oh my gosh a quick queen of cups knight of cups oh my god if there was ever a love reading aquarius holy cow what you don't see coming is you have a you have and your opportunity is the Ace of Cups, right? With the King of Cups and your intuition after being probably beat up, like waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and getting like discouraged, right? And even waiting on this opportunity, what you don't see coming is you have a, a match here of the heart. And then you have two Aces here, clarifying the Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a love offer. It's like, I'm here to give you my heart, you know, will, will you go out with me? Uh, you know, that kind of energy. Someone's offering you their heart here, whether it's an apology sometimes with existing partnerships. This is coming back together after some emotional distance, right? Letting go, you know, being open to receiving like the, the knowledge and the lesson of why you even had the conflict to begin with, right? Facing your fears, releasing perfection. I'm telling you what, for those of you who are waiting on love this week, I think you're going to meet somebody. All right, let's go into the advice here is the King of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. So you are taking a stand and you're seeing clearly the Five of Pentacles is, I'm sorry, the Five of Swords. You see, he's gathered his swords. This is often working to resolve a conflict, right? There's, you're trying to find the best way forward. Spirit is saying that you should been through a period where you felt a little bit like the worst is over, like I'm overcoming a loss. You've been investing in yourself and your career. I do believe that you have a lot of stability on your own Aquarius, but this is about welcoming a new love opportunity. I really see it for you. Like, I mean, it's blatantly obvious. Any tarot reader could pick this up. You've gone through an extreme transformation. You are a, a person of balance, right? You have everything you need. Do you need love? You know, you don't need it, but it'd be sure would be nice to have it, right? To, you know, it should, there's a big difference between want and need, right? We want love. I think that if you're really a whole embodied person, you don't necessarily need love. Not from a needy place, right? And 
the Aquarius is that I'm picking up on, you're doing great. And love is just going to land in your lap. And you're going to be like, whoa. So, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Do I need to clarify anything else? Is there anything else that wants to be clarified? I want to clarify in your immediate future, this four cups, why there's a little bit of discontent. Why is there a little bit of discontent? Ooh. I think because you are moving past, I think for some of you, you're leaving one thing and you're waiting or you've been working on letting go of somebody. And there's, you know, there's, you're waiting on the choices to come and arrive here. And while you're waiting, because we have another three of wands here, and you are moving away from something towards a better opportunity. So you got a, you got a better opportunity, honey. It's, it's coming in. It's going to come in fast. So you're transforming out of one situation into another. Um, and so I really think that your job is to make sure you take your time because you're leaving one thing and moving into a new opportunity. It's gonna, I feel like you're going to have somebody sweep you off your feet. And you're gonna you're gonna take a risk, and it's gonna be it's gonna it's it's gonna be a, a you're not gonna be confused. There's not I mean there was confusion I think in the past over somebody. Yeah, they're telling you to be present in the here and now. That's all that matters, right? Anyway, right? Don't try to project too much fear into the future over I'm never gonna meet that person. There's a higher power assisting you with bringing in beautiful beautiful love for you. And the last card, the tribe. Yeah, you're calling in a soul contract, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. So I don't often do singles reads, but I do believe this is this. I'm definitely speaking to some singles here. And for couples, you have what you don't see coming is you had a brand new chapter in your love bond that is going to take you by surprise. You know, romance, love, affection, passion, all the good stuff. All right. That is my weekly read for you, Aquarius. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.